Hi everyone, David here, and I have with me, I've looked forward to getting him for a while, Figure Arts Sigma from Mega Man X. Now Sigma is the main antagonist of the Mega Man X series, and he was X and Zero's unit commander before he turned Maverick, and basically started his, his revolution against humanity, well, wanting to either enslave or wipe humanity out. And Sigma was the most advanced Reploid Dr. Kane created based on the original Reploid technology that Thomas Light left behind in his laboratory. And Kane boasted that Sigma was maverick proof. He could never go maverick because of the advanced circuitry designs in him. However, he ultimately did. And the backstory is it is implied that Zero was created by Dr. Wily at the end of the original Mega Man series. And Zero was programmed to have this virus in him that would make him incredibly violent and destructive. Zero's capsule is found and Zero is activated and Zero goes berserk. Zero and Sigma have a fight. Sigma smashes the jewel on top of Zero's helmet. The virus transfers into Sigma, the Wily virus as it's called, and it eventually turns into what's known as the Sigma virus and makes Sigma go maverick. However, another reiteration of the story is in the Day of Sigma, which is a 25 minute OVA included with the PSP game Mega Man Maverick Hunter X, which implies that because Reploids can choose their own destiny, they can make their own informed choices, Sigma chose to become a Maverick and turn on his human creators and, and go against the humanity. Uh, onto the figure itself. This is really nice. Um, it's not poseable in any way, shape, or form. It's solid vinyl, I believe, but it is incredibly well detailed. And this is how Sigma originally looked in his um, in the original Mega Man X. Um, and you see how Sigma gets those scars across his eyes. Uh, X quite literally just claws his hand down his face, and that's what gives Sigma his um, facial scars. Uh, if you can make that out on his belt, just turn it around. His beam sword, or well, lightsaber-like weapon, which he uses at the end of the game boss fight. And he comes with a clear plastic stand to stand on. This is a very nice figure. However, if you live in the UK, it doesn't come cheap. It cost me about 60 quid. About £40 to buy it, and about 20 quid import tax. However, if you're a very big um, Mega Man X fan, I wouldn't hesitate recommending it. It is very nice. The detailing is very nice. The paint apps are very nice. The build quality is very good. It's very consistent. And that's really all I can say about Sigma. So this is David signing out.